Hello everyone, this is John Frelsto with TopspinTennis.com. In this video, I'm going to do a, a stroke analysis on Kimi Shikori's forehand. Uh, he hails from Japan and a uh, former top 10 player in the world. Um, one thing I do want you to be aware of is just look at the braces. This, was, this video was shot in 2013, but look at the knee brace, look at the ankle brace. And in 2017, he had to withdraw towards the end of the year. Didn't play the U.S. Open uh, due to a wrist injury. Uh, he is 5 feet 10, weighs around 165 pounds. So I'm interested to hear from you, can someone of this stature in today's current game, can he win a Grand Slam? Uh, please, in the comments section below, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on that. He is probably one of the most talented players to come out of the IMG Academy in Bradenton, Florida. And that is saying a lot, considering the likes of Andre Agassi, Jim Courier have come out of that same training center. The challenge is, can he do it at 5'10"? The guy is fast, lightning quick, uh, but today's game... Uh, do you have to be 6'1", 6'2", 6'3", to really uh, to have success and win those Grand Slams? One other thing I want to demonstrate with this video is when we shot this, he and his practice partner were hitting just deep down the middle. Um, so with all of my analysis, I want you to know that uh, besides just the technical aspects, there is intent with every shot you hit. And the same holds true with these guys. What they're basically doing is they're hitting deep down the middle. Um, so when you're playing, tactically, you, you, you should have a game plan. The ball comes to you. What is your intent? Are you going to hit an offensive shot, a neutral ball, a defensive shot? What they're doing in these videos is basically just hitting a neutral ball down the middle. just wanted to make that clear. I, I see a lot of videos out there, and I don't know if the the, the – the pros or the coaches are really talking about intent. It's so crucial. These guys, neutral balls deep down the middle. All right, so let's go ahead and um, and let's just start with the grip. Uh, I am going to zoom in here, and I will show you a photo uh, of Nishikori's grip. I mean, notice how much he chokes up on the racket. So one thing that really makes him unique is uh, him choking up like this. You don't see it a lot with some of the players. Uh, interested to hear from you. Name some other players, men or women, that do this. Uh, it is considerable um, and uh, very noticeable. The other thing to keep in mind is Nishikori is in a Western grip. I think that's the other challenge for him. He, you know, he's really got those knuckles under the grip, and you'll see when he makes contact how far under the grip they are. But interested again in your comments with that Western grip. Can he win a Grand Slam? I just don't know if that ball is going to get through the court enough uh, to really inflict enough damage. He plays a grinding game. He plays considerably. Look, Notice in this video, look at how far back behind the baseline he is. So playing that far back gives him time, but, um, you know, he's going to have to run more playing back from there. So those are the two big things I noticed with the grip or this position here. Um Let's go ahead and look at his unit turn. So when he starts prepping and taking that racket back, one other thing that he does here, now this is similar to someone like Nadal, but look at that racket, how he lays it back. Watch that racket head lay back behind the hand. It actually gets inside the hand, and I think because of that, he's going to get more of a whipping effect. But he does a nice job with his shoulder turn here. Um, look at the unit turn. Keeps both hands on the racket as he rotates. Now, here's another thing that makes it unique. And if you haven't seen the Delpo analysis I've done, please check it out. But just notice the arm angle here, how high it is. Uh, interested in your thoughts? Is this something due to height? Remember Delpo, when he gets in this position, Delpo actually starts dropping his hand. Federer is probably a little more horizontal in this position. But once again, different strokes for different folks. There's no cookie-cutter way of hitting a ground stroke. Everyone is unique. Um, I like to play more natural, and for, for Key, he likes to keep that arm up a little bit more. So um, that's something very unique with his, with, his, with his forehand. All right, so he does a nice job of rotating here. Um, another thing I want you to notice is just check out the racket, the racket face as he takes it back. Notice how that angle 
the hitting face is facing away in that position there. So he really does close up that racket angle. He does a great job of using his legs. And you'll see later on in the video how he really loads and launches. But he's putting that weight on the on that outside foot. I love the fact that he has an open stance in both videos. Uh, really able to generate power from the ground up and just uncoil on the ball. So great loading position here. Here's, um, you know, this is something a little more interest, interesting as well. Look at in his loading position. Look at, notice the racket head, how it's down. You know, someone like Federer in this position, they'll probably have their racket up a little bit more vertical. Um, so just another little difference there, a little intricacy. It's not right or wrong. It's just the way that he hits his forehand. But, yeah, just notice how this racket angle is closed here, very closed. All right, he loads. Remember, I talk a lot about breaking the plane. Notice how this, watching this video, how that racket head stays on the right side of the plane. And I love the fact top players do this, and they're just able to find the ball so much better by keeping that racket on the right side of their body. Let's look at the racket drop here. So look at the considerable uh, racket face uh, being closed. It's considerably closed here. Uh, Delpo's not as closed, right? Federer does close it, um, but once again, that has a lot to do with his with his Western grip. All right, in this position, um, notice how he's timing to find that ball. He does a great job, and I kind of like to compare this to a pulling motion where he really takes that racket head and he's going to pull it forward and go and drive that ball. So he does a nice job in this position. Gets a little bit of racket leg here. Let's look at that racket leg position. Watch how that racket from here, and then watch it leg back and go forward. Not as much as someone like a Nadal or a Federer, but it, it is there. Let's look at the contact point. Look at that. It's finding that ball out in front. Uh, look at the leverage that he is getting here on this ball. He is in a, uh, in a bent position right, as opposed to a straight arm position. So he's got good leverage on the ball. Uh, but And also notice how he launches. He's coming off the ground. That happens naturally just because of the loading on that outside leg. And then when he pulls up and across, or he goes through the ball and then up and across the ball, he's going to naturally launch like this. So tremendous, tremendous um, air on his forehand. Notice how his shoulders and hips are all square to the target. And then let's just watch the release. He doesn't uh, extend out to the target as much. I mean, he really does go from the ball. Watch, notice how he goes from the ball, and then he's going to pull across, up and across. So tremendous drive and spin. I don't think it's getting through the court as well as some other players, and that's just going to be because of that Western grip. And then look at the balance. I mean, the guy's like a uh, – He's like a like a like a music, like a, a dancer here. Notice the balance on the whole stroke. I mean, he never seems off balance. One thing that the pros do better than anybody is they have great balance, and uh, they're very very efficient. All right, I hope this uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like the video, please hit the like button below. If you really like the video, please share it with your friends, family, coaches, players. Uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell below so you can get updates on my uh, latest videos. And please, uh, leave some comments down below. It, from those comments, um, that's where I get different teaching ideas, and I like to share those ideas uh, in, in later videos. All right, thanks a lot for visiting. Enjoy your day.